Today's episode of the Bill Simmons Podcast on the Ringer Podcast Network is brought to you by SeatGeek, our presenting sponsor. Buy and sell tickets in two taps on your phone. Everything fully guaranteed. Football fans, $20 off your first SeatGeek purchase on NFL tickets. Use promo code BS. NFL, download the SeatGeek app or go right to SeatGeek.com. We're also brought to you by the Ringer NFL show that is heating up. If you love football, Clark and Mays twice a week, Tuesday and Friday. They preview the weekend on Fridays. Kevin Clark, Robert Mays from the Ringer. And then GM Street, Mike Lombardi and Tay Frazier, the producer of this podcast. They're putting them up Sunday nights. You can get the li- the instant reactions. They were, they were, Tate was all giddy last night because Carolina won. So, you can subscribe to that on the Ringer NFL show. And obviously subscribe to the podcast. The two fellas we have on the podcast today, Cousin Sal, against all odds, special guest Joe House, House of Carbs, and Shack House. He's got two pods. So anyway, Ringer Podcast Network. And finally, the ringer.com. That's where my Friday column is up every week. Last week, I wrote about Trump and the NFL and Trump hijacking the NFL for seven straight days. All right, coming up, we're going to talk about week five NFL. But first, I want to send thoughts and prayers to everybody in Las Vegas who was affected by last night's um, just unspeakable tragedy. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's weird to talk about something as insignificant as football today, but we're going to plow through it. But, uh, but man, that was, that was rough last night. It was happening on late Pacific Coast time last night, and it was – Watching uh, CNN and all these stations for two hours, two, three hours last night as things keep getting worse and worse and the numbers kept climbing. It was just awful. So we're thinking about everybody there today. We're going to talk about football today. Try to take your mind off it for an hour. Joe House, Sal, coming up. Here we go. All right, Sal's here, House is here. Um, I thought this would be a more jovial morning for us, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pull through it. Yeah. Um, I'm taking everything I was going to lose on the Monday night game and donating it to the Red Cross or something. With, of course. They need a lot of blood over there. Yeah. So, But, yeah, seems a little weird. House? Yes. You're going you're gonna to have the first 25 minutes with us, and then we're going to guess the lines without you. Because you have to go film House of Carbs stuff. I do have a House of Carbs coming up. Your team plays tonight, the Washington professional football team. They're getting seven points yeah. against Kansas City. Mm-hmm. This feels like a – we've now, like, flipped who the good teams are. Like, I was doing the power poll, and I – are the top five teams right now, would you say Chiefs, Packers, Rams, Lions, Broncos? Is oh, that yeah, the top five? You didn't put your Patriots in there? No. We've I, given up 128 points in four games. I have a whole different thing about how this is the least impressive three and one crop that I've seen in a while. Like who's who's a proven three so and one? Is nobody good? There's no contenders. I'm sticking with nobody's good for now. I think if the know, Chiefs wax the skins tonight, yeah. then maybe they're the dominant. Well, AFC yeah, they'll be the yeah. only. House is getting the ideas. I have Look a quibble. Happy. Well, I have a quibble. I'm happy talking about the skins. I wouldn't have Green Bay in ahead of the Falcons because they played each other and the Falcons beat them. So. Oh right, yeah. So that's that would, a good point. That would be, mm-hmm. but but so otherwise, maybe it's, so Chiefs, Rams, Lions, Broncos, because the Lions should be undefeated. The Lions. Although it yeah. was stupid, I guess, to throw over the middle to Golden Tate. Like if yeah. he doesn't catch it, you lose the game. But I mean, they were like six inches away from being undefeated. Right. Yeah. Right. That Broncos six lost inches. a week ago. Maybe there is no top tier. Tier. I don't think so. I think the Chiefs could pull away a little bit, but I still think you know if they somehow would have to go to Foxborough in January, that's that's a loss. But I love the slate like yesterday that. and somehow lost money anyway. Yeah. I I love the Rams. Mm-hmm. I love the Texans. I love the Bucks. I loved Cardinal. Uh, the, uh, I love the uh, Niners. Yeah, I'm actually and proud I love of the you. Broncos. This is what Bill Simmons did. This is something interesting he did. We guessed the lines last week. I said Cardinals uh, home for 49ers. You said three. He's like I say Arizona by three. I said no, it's seven. He's like that's ridiculous. Uh, I'm betting the betting the Niners, and it and it worked. And I didn't say do the Rams. That, how, how often does that work? When you say something like on a Monday, like, oh, no way. That, that line is way off. I said the line is off. And same right. thing for the Rams. I thought that line Rams, was off. Rams, Cowboys. Yeah, right. Well, then I thought Sean that Lee line was going to be like three yeah. and a half. Mm-hmm. But the Rams, I didn't watch that game because I was driving all over Southern California for soccer. Mm. Um, 
it looked like the Rams just moved the ball and did stuff. The yeah. Rams have a good offense. Like I picked up Jared Goff in our fantasy league last week. Mm -hmm. He was available. That I think they have the most points in the I league. I was just going to look the that Chiefs up. Will, 142 points in four games. The Chiefs games. could top that today with like 20 points. But right. yeah, the Rams are putting up 30 a game. Yeah. Well, House isn't a believer. I, I, yeah. it, it's so early. I mean, you know, we we it, we can't reach. I don't want to fall right into cliche talk, but only four games in. Mm -hmm. There's just some eyebrow raisers is, is, is all. I mean, I mean, you know, the Rams have a, a proven history of, of underperforming in a, in a colossal, I mean, mm -hmm. in a wonderful array of, of different, uh, you know, manners. So before the week one column that I wrote or during the week one column I wrote, I said that they had a chance to be the shitty 10 and six team that made the playoffs. Right. I don't know if they're shitty. This is like a Todd big Gurley test. might be like, is he one of the four best running backs in the league this well, year? Probably. Mad. How bad? Everyone seemed to have God. Todd Gurley on one of their seven fantasy teams oh the last God. two years, and now he he's just so much explosive. Buzz. So their next five, their next five games, they're going Seattle at home. That's the big one. That's right? the big one. Yeah, at Jacksonville, home for Arizona, bye week, at the Giants, home for Houston. At Minnesota, who has now just been ravaged, mm -hmm. like Bradford, may, who knows when he comes back, they lose Dalvin, Dalvin Cook. Cook. Yeah, home for the Saints at Arizona, home for Philly, at Seattle, at Tennessee, home for San Francisco. Like that kind of feels like twelve and four if they can stay God. healthy. Wow! If you have them, amazing. if you like them to beat Seattle this week. You're going to have a tough time convincing yourself that Seattle's going to come back and win the division, right? I know it is early, yeah. but, you know, two-game lead would be, would be something. We were at dinner last night. I did not watch that game. I don't feel yeah. like I missed that much Colts-Seahawks, but I know because you watch yeah. all football games. Did, is there anything you learned from that well, game? Well, the Seahawks was my best bet, one of two best bets. I had the Jaguars who were on the two-yard line, down three, about to go up four but I, before I got bortled. But, uh, but uh Bortled. I don't is know. Is that a verb now? It it's, is. It's got to be. You got bortled. Or, you got bortled? Yeah. Um, I, I guess I bortled myself. I don't think you can get bortled. <laughs> but <laughs> Seahawks, uh, they just turned it on the second half. I like this new running back. This is going to be the big waiver pickup, right? Which one? McNickick? What, what is it? Who's How the Seahawks? How many running backs do the Seahawks well, have? Size is hurt. Infinite number. It just seems like the running back supply is endless. It's true. Like the Giants yesterday had this dude, what's his name, Galman? I don't know. Yeah, right. It's a uh, Galman Clemson, Jr. Clemson kid, yeah. It's Galman Jr.'s in. He looked oh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. He was fourth round good. pick. Yeah. Was, was just the entire tape. Was the third and fourth round just all running backs? Pretty much. Sorry, I'm yeah. trying to find this guy's name because Galman. I laughed every time they said it. But the, uh, oh, like, J.D. JD uh, McKissick. That's it. McKissick. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's right. J.D. McKissick. Yeah, he was on Falcons yeah, he for sounds a minute. familiar. Yeah, he'll, Meanwhile, the Saints have Adrian Peterson who comes in the game. And you just know they're going to run the ball with him. He runs in the line and falls down. Right. Yeah, he like, why is he on the team? He doesn't need to be know. on that team. No. Yeah. There are teams that can use him. I yeah. was so excited. I woke up yesterday. I, I just, we'd gone out to uh, Cassell's the night before and I had oh. a patty melt. I felt, I just woke up, my stomach hurt. <laughs> and it's like 6 20 in the morning. It's pitch black. And I'm like, what am on. I going to do? I'll just go through emails. I'm like, oh, Saints Dolphins. <laughs> I was so excited. There was football on. Sit down and make coffee, sit down and watch it, and it's just awful. It was yeah, like zero so zero bad. with like you got cut an hour into it. Oh, he's so bad. Yeah, Th Matt Moore <laughs> should start for them this week, you would think, right? Yeah, like How can I, Cutler's like body language is bad, the throws are bad. What's good about it? I him? wonder what Adam Gase was trying to prove there. Like, I am is it just like I'm the Cutler whisperer. So even though Matt Moore may be fine and he was decent and got us a little to the playoffs, and you know, but we, we lost a tough game, but but. What is, what is his deal? Well, it seemed like a lot of downside bringing Cutler in. Yeah. Well, especially like they were only six and nine with him that year when he was the Cutler whisperer. But I watched that team. Like I have Jarvis Linger on my fantasy yeah. team. It seems like he's open. Devontae Parker is scary. Like those, those JJ are, is good. He can't, they, can't, they can't get him off. How do you get shut out by the Saints? Parker and Landry are supposed to be two of the top 20 fastest guys in the league, and Cutler refuses to throw downfield. It's all checked down. I, you don't want to say a football team has, like, didn't try because it's ridiculous and how how badly injured guys can get for not trying. Yeah. But third and twenty, like nine minutes left, they ran the ball down yeah. thirteen. They hadn't scored yet. Third would not like just, and with then it was like a false throw, start. Throw deep balls down the field and I have mean. somebody jump up and try to get them. I with never those understand. Two guys. If you're gonna get shut out, I don't get that. So some other stuff that happened. We'll talk about the Pats in a second. Deshaun Watson 
kudos mm. to Lombardi. Lombardi, like the six weeks leading up to the draft was like Deshaun Watson. Mm -hmm. I would take him. That guy's a culture changer. This guy can't miss. I don't know what these teams are doing that don't have a quarterback. Like he was like, he went all in. Right. And then a bunch of teams passed him, including the Jets and Bengals. And the Browns traded their pick that ended up being Deshaun Watson. He was against the Pats. Always hard to say with this how bad this Pats defense is. Right. But the thing that struck me in that game was how calm he was and how nervous I was because of him. And then it transferred over to this Tennessee game. And mm -hmm. now here are the Houston guys talking about him like, oh, my God, we have a quarterback. This is Deshaun DeAndre Hopkins. He's got to feel like he won the lottery. It's the very best possible situation for Deshaun, right? Yeah. I mean, he goes to a team. It's it's almost like if he'd gone to, to Houston or Denver, those are the two places where they have incredible defenses. What the critical missing link they have is at the quarterback position. Or and if he'd gone to like Cincinnati, yeah. then he's on Cincinnati. Or the but Browns. Houston, it's like they, not only did they really need him, not only was he the missing piece, but he goes to this fan base that's never had a quarterback. Right. And well, they had shop, shop for a minute. Shop, he had a minute. There was a minute. Shop? To shop. They won. They they went twelve and four one season. You knew what you were getting with Shop. He was yeah. getting that first He's round fine. playoff game against the Bengals and, and losing. Yeah, they had was... him for a minute. Um, I mean, I have, here's what I'll say about Watson. Yeah, rookie of the year. Unfortunately, Dalvin Cook's out of the mix now. I think he was favored. Yeah. By the way, uh, I'm gonna have. Uh, Services for my fantasy team yeah. at the end of this podcast because it's officially kind of over. Deal. It's so. Bad. I also spent twenty dollars on Christian McCaffrey, who oh, no. is basically Dion Lewis. It seems like mm -hmm. I don't even know what Tate. Have you given up already? I never bought in. Okay. I, why was everybody <laughs> blowing him before the season? Because it seemed like they were revolving their whole offense around him. Right. But they did, and then they stopped. Right, Tate. Like it's they did last week, and now it was a decoy this week, and they won. So Tate doesn't have a mic because how stole his mic. Oh, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. You know, just sorry, scream, Tate. scream your lungs out. But what would you? Who would you go? Rookie of the year right now? Hunt minus one twenty. It's got to be Cream Hunt. What about Watson? Why not? Why not Watson plus one ten? Well, if Cream Hunt rushes for three thousand yards and thirty touchdowns, I'm going to vote for him. I he's am, on pace. I didn't know that that uh, you could still get Watson at a plus number. That's I, what I mean. I, I have some um, very important messaging to do immediately after this podcast. <laughs> Didn't we talk about him maybe? before the year? We talked about him for rookie of the yeah, year, right? I, that, I, the idea is so that the, 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 you know, I always take a quarterback over a running back for a, for a rookie of the year. Kind don't of don't like forget, like Elliot was the crazy stats and Prescott won last year. Maybe it is worth taking Watson. They, Plus 110. No, mm. Mariota already got hurt. Oh, yeah! But it must, it's, be, it's, it's it must be October the first. And these news to us. I, news to us. I've never heard of Lombardi talked about it on GM Street last night, and it got me thinking. Like, I've never heard of a quarterback like pulling a hammy. Mm. When has that ever happened in the history of football? I don't want to revel in it because he's clearly such a good guy and such an important part to that team. I don't want to be a dick hey, about then it. Then he should be a senator. Stay healthy. Yeah, yeah. be a senator. You got to play. Guy. You got to play. Well, it looks like Houston has that division by the balls now. I like that. That right? was our original pick, right? Yeah, Houston. we're feeling good about that. Mm -hmm. The problem is, what was our big bet with House? Seattle, Green Bay, Pittsburgh, and the and, and, and not the, the Pats. Pats. No, 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 the Pats no, no, weren't no. in it. No, the odds Green Bay good. wasn't in it. No, I think Seattle, the Pats were in it. Seattle, Pittsburgh, and the Pats. Yeah. yeah. Which one are you the most nervous of <laughs> <laughs> to win the division? Incredibly, Seattle. I think the Rams I, could I win that division because that schedule. About Seattle, we're going to have to do a hedge because yeah. I I went even further. I put the Chiefs on one. I put the Texans. On. I took I the three way. Too. I put four the, way. I had the Texans in there too. We three way to four way. Jesus. Uh, so, it looks like the Raiders. My instincts were correct. You were right. Another one I was, I was good at the that. Raiders. I was listen. I was wrong on plenty of things, but it looks like the Raiders were the. Everyone's blowing smoke and jerking them off, and they're a legit contender. And yeah. meanwhile, they hadn't done anything, and they were three and three against AFC West last year. I still don't understand it. And you listen to GM Street, and Lombardi talks about the blue chippers on the offensive line for the Raiders and all this other thing. I don't, Lack I don't of see why it's not adding up. Well, yeah. same, right. same issue with your team. Here, here, yeah. No game breakers. How, how is it possible, Cooper and Crabtree? I think they might stink. Cooper yeah. and Crabtree. The Redskins, Cooper is maybe a number two Crabtree receiver didn't, being didn't treated play. like a number yeah. one receiver. And the, the Deadskins shut them down. Shut oh. them the F down. Quick break. Talk about Bluehost, the top-rated website provider powering over 2 million websites for bloggers or small business owners. Bluehost has everything you need to build, host, and manage the personal or small business website you've always wanted. Design your website your way without being limited by templates. Simple enough for beginners. Powerful enough for even the most advanced users. Sal, maybe you could put your 500 picks up this year. 
500. Quest for 500. You just go 500 every week. Oh, yeah, yeah. This Three year, you're like Captain 500. Oh, God. Fully customizable templates, third-party app support, 99% uptime guarantee, maximum security, not to mention Bluehost 24-7 tech support, online resources, expert services. No wonder it's been the top recommended WordPress host on WordPress.org since 2005. Bluehost makes hosting websites stress-free. Get back to what matters most, gambling. Now, our listeners say 50%. When you sign up at bluehost.com slash Bill Simmons, that is bluehost.com slash Bill Simmons. Speaking of gambling, the, on your podcast, Against the Lodge, the trifecta. They did a great job. They swept it, right? No, damn, the Cowboys cost on a money line for the oh, Parlay Kid. But so you had a chance to sweep. I had a chance, and that's the one I bought. I do a thing called Sharp Tank, where I uh, between the three, they pitch me their best bet. And two weeks in a row, I've picked the only one that's lost. But <laughs> but Harry had Washington State, was like plus 180 over uh, USC. Big wow. win. And uh, brother Brian has a seven-team college parlay that won. There's paid, a, paid no like president cup president's cup nobody we did have that? A pre- i had to i had to reach out to house i it couldn't even find the scores for this like yeah. for the top american there's so little interest in it you know there was ba- <laughs> barely any like results afterwards like oh they basically shut it the whole they won the thing saturday uh, yeah i had made a couple of uh small plays on t- on top american there's some decent when did, there. Kisner and Kisner kepka, and kepka. Yeah. when did the president's cup start 1994 feels like this contrived yeah. some network executive started it like what if we have our, our version well, of the right, right. it wasn't quite that cynical there was this idea that that getting um the non-european international players some exposure would be good for for all of the tours and so that's what the, it's the australians it's the south africans and gary players had a big big part in it there's just can't they just don't can't get enough guys together that are worth a shit I feel bad. I feel like we're, we're rubbing it in. We do like cartwheels. These guys who are expressionless for months and months and months, and they're yeah. just like playing, do, making snow angels in the sand traps. I like mean, after we win, Kisner and, and Mickelson did the three amigos chest bump. Yeah. Oh, whoo, ha! Ah, that thing. It's very. <laughs> Tiger it like Woods. Years is, ago. Tiger Woods is launching a new cup in his Orlando golf course next year. You didn't hear about this? <laughs> it's the Tiger true? Woods tripod cup. Oh no! It's, it's a trophy. It's shaped like his <laughs> tripod <laughs> cell phone picture. That was a discussion at dinner last night. What do you have to do to win it? <laughs> <laughs> discussion at dinner last night was whether Tiger released that photo himself and photoshopped it. Oh, interesting. Photo that, that's outrageous. Well, I, it's there were internet rumors about photoshopping. I don't believe them. I think it was a damn thing. I my only <laughs> suspicion anytime there's a cell phone pic like that is where, whether there was a little self fluffing before. Who cares? It's giant. <laughs> you go ahead and self fluff right now. <laughs> Let, let's see. Don't <laughs> talk bad about Tiger's penis in front of house. That's I told exactly you this. Right. You love. I told you this. Giant. This should be part of the Shack House podcast. Every week, you should, Tiger's penis should get an email <laughs> from a it, reader. We gave it one week. I don't know. Listeners should each needs. week send an email to Tiger's penis. <laughs> Hey, Tiger's Crazy. penis. I'm thinking about buying a new car. Uh, that's the only part Tiger, of him just that, go big. It's the only part of him that works. Um, <laughs> Poor Tiger. Uh, Dalvin Cook out for the year. Uh, yeah, it's sad. Sam Bradford is Sam Bradford. Are I we, like that we, team. I like that team. And now we'll cross them off, right? Years. It's tough. Got to cross them off. Years. The defense is so good. It's going to keep them in all these games. But yeah, you, you lose your quarterback. Peterson and trade? Best. And coming back? <laughs> nah. Interesting. Nah. So it looks but, like Lions versus Packers. We got two playoff teams in that. And Rams ver- Rams yeah. and Seahawks, two playoff teams in that. Oh, not so fast. Whoever not wins so the fast. NFC South, and then whoever wins the NFC East, and that's our six. The NFC South, the last place is two and two. Why don't you? Why couldn't there be two teams from the? Well, NFC then they'd South? have to grab the Seahawks spot. Yeah. Right? right. Unless you think like the Packers are going to fold. I think the Lions are legit. So, I was impressed by them in that Falcons game. I'm not ready to count out the NFC East. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll see you tonight. House. There you I go. want to see my guys tonight. I like it. That defense is so much improved. It's, I, I can't tell you, you have a great pass a good rush. defense. It's the complete opposite of how I feel when I watch the Patriots. You actually can pressure the passer and do some stuff. Yes. It's, I, it's an incredible I feeling. Like, I, so Carson Wentz, I've seen a couple of NFL films. Um you know, like him on the sidelines, like yeah. him with the 61 yard field goal and him, right. the way he interacts. And then there's stuff about how he took everybody to North Dakota and they had like this bonding. Mm-hmm. 
He actually seems like he might be something. He might have some leadership skills. You like him? Well, I do. Can... I might. I think I like him. I like the way he carries himself. I, I like. I don't the... know how good he is, but I like. He has the quarterback intangibles thing down. I totally agree with you, and I like the Eagles coming into this season as the the team that's going to win the NFC East. And I, they they haven't done anything to detract from that. Effing Lombardi is so down on Doug Peterson. Oh yeah, I he know. killed. He kills Peterson. But the thing is, if Wentz is the leader right yeah. and they are they're all galvanized around him then that offsets the peterson effect damn yeah. it eagles now one t- minus 120 first time they're favored to win the division this year you know why i brought him up let me hear because captain morgan the captain will not rest oh. until he's brought his adventurous spirit and delicious rump to every corner of america original spice coconut pineapple white black grapefruit whatever you want the captain loves anyone who learns to mix like a captain Every week, Sal and I pick a captain of the week. Mm -hmm. I think mine is Carson Wentz. You like him, huh? I like the way he carries himself. I think if I'm a Philly fan, I don't know how talented he is. Maybe he's a guy who's going to throw the ball away too much. I like the way he moves around. I like the way he inspires the team. I I agree with Lombardi that Doug Peterson might be a train wreck. Mm -hmm. But I think they have a real quarterback. And you go on down the line, it's like, I don't know about Jameis. No, I know. Like why? Why I really I I needed Tampa to cover the minus three, and mm-hmm. I was going to go five and zero in the super contest. And I'm watching Jameis, <laughs> and Jameis Jameis is just too up and down. Everything looks too difficult for him. Yeah, it's, I don't feel like he's gotten throws. better in two years. And I really no. thought this was going to be the year he made the leap. Right. And then you look at Mariota, who just can't stay on the field. Then you go on down the line. Andrew Luck's already banged up, and Cam Newton, even though he has comeback week, but. But Wentz might, you know, Wentz and Goff, that, maybe those guys will be good. <laughs> I would never put Goff anywhere near Wentz. Yeah, and what's, why down. can't we let Goff? Goff's played well this year. He needs to speed up that, that arm. Well, that, Ca- Carson Wentz is my captain. Who's your captain this week? For, let me just say, is he still your captain if he doesn't give his game check to the kicker like you promised? Yeah, is how it, do we feel about that? I think we is have to see. Is that throwaway line? I think we have to see. It's not captain-like if you promise a, a game check and then re- How much do we deal. think he makes a year? Like four or five million? Rookie deal in the 17 weeks. That's like a $300,000 game check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's stupid if he gives that up. I think he should. <laughs> he he should he weasel his way it. out of that. No, he needs to do it. Buy him dinner. He Call it, it even. He's, he's got to be a captain. Yeah. That Jake Elliott's so happy that he made it. All right, All who's right, your captain? My, cap- so? my captain, it's tough because it's an 84,423 way tie. For every spectator who had to watch that crap fest in Wembley, mm. they're all my captain of the week. Oh, for all the London fans. Every, every fan who's great, for great sitting idea. out that sitting through that soggy suck fest of, of, a, of a game. Yeah. It's terrible where there was how many points? There was, um, it's crazy. It was, it was a hundred and I don't know. I have the number and I can't read it now. 146 yards and penalties. One team didn't score. It's just awful. Like, we should be sending these games to North Korea, not London. I'm done with this. That's I, I, an interesting idea, the, the yeah. North Korea market. Right? Have yeah. to beef that up. What kind of game do we send there if this is what I like that. This is crazy. Uh, I'm sorry, London. We didn't Here's send your you. football game, Rocket Man. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> and no one's standing at your anthem. Your anthem's crap. Carolina, New England, Tampa Bay, New- Giants. We could have sent them a lot of good games. We didn't. We sent them, and I apologize. I thought Saints Dolphins was going to be good. I was I, I did going too. into it. I was excited. I was like, Cutler's going to air it out this week. Yeah. Have a little shootout, and it was like they couldn't stay out there it anyway. Was not I just has to go. Yeah. Oh, you have to go. Yeah. Good All time. Right. This is it. He can't go twenty five minutes without eating. This is That's it. it. All right. He's at house. All right. Off, so what's the house of carbs today? Yeah. All right. See you, house. All right. See Bye, house. house. Let me pick up on this one thing because I talked to three Eagles fans who went to the game. Actually, yeah, my, my I think fr- a lot of Philly fans went yeah. to that game. Well, my friend Andy was like, he asked me like midweek. He's like, I have two tickets. You want to go to the game? And I told him, I said, fuck you. Don't ever talk to me again. Right. I said, I don't want these tickets. I don't want to go. But anyway, I talked to Eagles fans and they see it as where else would you want to watch a football game? This is great. The, the opposing right. team sees it as like a sports bar like you know when you see, what's the boston sports yeah. bar here you get to see all your team all your dudes and that's it it's your boston sports bar times a thousand it's right. all your guys that's basically what every red sox angels game is right yeah the angels they get ten thousand red sox fans at the games and it's like oh i'm with all my boston people right. but it's and terrible right if you're raising like your kid a charger it's, fan it's, it's not good you well but the, if you're a chargers fan you sh- you should have quit on this team anyway i know because they moved out of your city so give up if i just start gambling or pick a new team right um, or stay with them and just watch on TV. I, I think what sucks is that if 
you're on the team, you you have a home field disadvantage. Mm-hmm. I thought they'd have more fans at these games. I knew the Philly fan was going to be the game was going to be a problem. I didn't know like the Dolphins were going to overtake the stadium. Right, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. So I, like, they what have city a Raider- would have to? What team would, would like Tampa do well? Like I'm not sure. Like who? Where does it become fans 50, don't 50 travel? Again. Yeah. Pretty crazy, but I went from thinking. Oh, maybe the, the the energy in that stadium, you'll have fans on both sides. and mm-hmm. But no, it's nope. just sad and depressing. Uh, before we get to the um, the week five games, cross-off teams. Oh. Uh, New England Patriots. Who else? Crossing off the Browns, right? Oh, yeah. Crossing off the Niners, 0-4. Mm-hmm. All the 0-4s. Chargers? Crossing up the Chargers. Yeah. The Giants are the only one I hesitated on. Mm. Could they go nine and seven? Could the could the could the wild, second wild card be a nine and seven record? Could they get to nine and seven? I don't have their schedule, but because I'm their last say, two games they lost in the you know I, in the I, last three minutes. That's not they're not like the Browns just getting blown out no, by right. Andy Dalton. Right. They go. Uh, they're home for the Chargers this week mm-hmm. at Denver, home for Seattle by week. I think they have to win two of those next three, so they'd be two and five. Mm-hmm. Home for the Rams at San Francisco, conceivably four and five at that point. Home for Kansas City at Washington on a Thursday. They'd have to split those five and six. At Oakland, who knows with that team? They could be six and six by that point. Home for Dallas, Philly. Let's say they split those seven and seven at Arizona, home for Washington. Their last month's pretty favorable. Yeah. Three home games, all against NFC East teams. We could wait so one more week. Yeah, I don't we think can we can cross them off yet, right? I don't think they go nine and three, but we Well, we usually try week. to cross off a team right. per week. We're four weeks in. I can only find three. Okay. Um, wait. You wouldn't cross so, off anyone else, right? Uh, yeah, I guess the, the Bengals survive another week of cross I don't think off. we can cross off anyone in that division. Right. Because it's bad. Because um, it's bad, and it's like if Roethlisberger gets hurt next week, then nine and seven might win that division. You're I'm not, not crossing, crossing the, the Colts off. I can't if they lose this week though. Can't cross the Colts off because of luck coming back. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's it. And, and so the, and the Bears crosses. are not. Even though you're saying two teams in the NFC North can't cross off the Bears yet because the Vikings stink, and I think the Bears schedules. But there's two good teams already in that division. They're like two games behind. The Lions, who you have as a wild card. All right, we don't have to cross. I, them I can't off. cross the Bears Doesn't off matter. here. Yeah, we're fine. Tate, would you cross the Bears off? Yes. Tate, grab your bike back. <laughs> oh yeah, Tate, hold on. Tate's not crossing them off until he sees Trubisky in there. No, it's because right? of the Tariq Cohen. Dude. Yeah, Cohen and Trubisky. I'm in on both those guys. Mm-hmm. I think the Bears have something. <laughs> like those two running backs together are kind of yeah. scary. I don't, I don't want to cross them off yet. Right. I like their defense too. All right. Week, week five. Week five. We have some buys this week. Let me just say we're two and two against each other. But people yeah. get mad that we don't recap the score and everything. Yes. But week five, two and two. Yeah, four teams on by. Falcons, Broncos, Saints, Redskins. Which of those four needed the buy the most? Um, Probably the Falcons. Yeah, I guess the Falcons. Yeah, I I, I think they win that game. I know I'm, I'm going to get crap from Bills Bills fans, but and because they were the team I was most wrong about all year, I think. But um, kind of lucky to be where they are. I think I really do. The Bills or the they Falcons? Beat, they beat the Jets. Bills. They uh, a couple, they should have won week one. Couple though. calls. What week one? Remember week one? They should have won. Didn't they play the Jets week one? Week two. Panthers. Week two. Panthers. All right. Yeah. Yeah, week two was Panthers. Yeah, Zay Jones and the yeah, Zay Jones. That's what it was. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. they right. should have won that one. Maybe weird call with Denver and Von Defense Miller. Defense is good. They don't turn the ball over. Yeah, that's good. But Julio Jones plays. Mohamed Sanu plays. The I think part I don't understand that. with them is why they didn't need Sammy Watkins. Well, that's what's weird. They they came up, was like, he like a bad teammate? They were scrapping the whole team for draft picks. Yeah, and Reggie Ragland at the end. Like that's never that never works for teams. I don't know if that Zay Jones is the answer, but maybe they'll be able to if they really feel like they have a chance to win the division. They could always could be good. Flip for a wide receiver. So Thursday night, here we go. This is bizarre. I actually thought it was a mistake when they were talking about this during the Pats game. Like, wow, oh, they got to you know Thursday night and tape. I'm like, did. We're playing Thursday night in Tampa. Like somehow I missed it. <laughs> I don't think we've played in Tampa Bay three times in my life. That could be right. I'm gonna yeah. say 
If you gave me the over under for three and a oh. half, I would go under. Hmm. I can't remember the last time we've played there. I honestly can't. I don't know if it's happened in the last Not on 15 a Thursday years. night. Uh, I can't remember the last road game they've played on a Thursday night against a non AFC East team. And I actually thought Thursday nights were going to be mostly division games. Right. But this one's not. It's a weird game. And it, it, it's the worst possible timing for them because the defense is in complete disarray. Mm-hmm. And of all weeks where you would have wanted a week to kind of plan stuff, mm-hmm. my guess is that everybody and their brother is going to write them off this week, which is usually a good sign if you're a Pats fan. Write them off. Oh, this well, is like all their defense is... shines. And we're I know. I would, I would urge off. people to be careful with the Pats. I, my, my pick for this game, Pats at Tampa. My pick is Pats by three and a half. No, you know it's higher than that. You just know. No, you, I really you, don't. You know it's higher than that. It's higher than that? Yeah, because what it, is it? it's a back against the wall game. I had six. It's five. So I think I that's a mistake. Mm. It's a Thursday night game. Oh, I get it. I think Tampa's I pretty good. And, and I mean, we're on pace to give up over 500 points this year. So I looked it up. The, la- the entire Belichick Pats run, mm-hmm. true or false, they've never given up 350 points in a season. False. True. Really? Yeah. Nobody's, <laughs> they've never given up more than like 346. So they're on pace right now for 516. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's a problem. The right? other thing is they have two home losses. I think they had two they last have year. Three. They had one in 2015 and one in 2014. Very strange. Could Very strange they should have team. three. But the defense is bad. But what did Carolina have? Like 21 going into the fourth quarter? Like it wasn't, you know, you expect your team to score 35 at home. The be problem right is there. they didn't take care of Malcolm Butler and he hasn't been good this year. They spent their free agent ransom money on uh or not ransom but they're they're whatever for gilmore Mm -hmm. who has not been good this year right and they didn't address the front seven really at all then their third round pick gets hurt ninkovich retires ninkovich retiring could be bigger than even though branch numbers wise not spectacular but a leader but it's like kind of like a leader yeah they just kind of lost their identity and i don't see how it gets better because you know as lombardi said on gm street you can see every play they're getting pushed backwards Mm -hmm. and that that's not fixable. I just, I don't know how they fix it. Here's what I would do. If I was the Patriots, I would go the other way. And people are like, Oh, which they do go out. Who can they trade for? It's like, this defense is going to suck. Belichick's going to be able to put stuff together. Um, I would actually try to make the offense better. Hmm. I would go get Jarvis Landry. Like, let's just load right. up. Let's yeah, get like, let's have like a million weapons and just be like, we're staying on the field for forty minutes a game. You're not even getting the ball. We're just gonna fly down, yeah. and kick your ass also, because you because you're gonna score on us when you get the ball. It's interesting. It's a nice thing to do for Brady too. Like in his, his last couple of well, years, what was that like, Colts we'll team? Let you show off. Remember that Colts team that didn't they even they might have even won the Super Bowl when. Uh, the safety Bob Sanders when he was hurt most of oh, the yeah, year yeah, yeah. and they were just giving up 30 points a game right. but Manning was scoring and they Reggie were somehow Wayne, competent Harrison, yeah. James. yeah maybe that's what they have to do because mm-hmm. I don't know if they can solve the defense well I think they do have to do that the you, other option would be to fire the defensive coordinator who Belichick mm-hmm. has been carrying for the last few years and nobody wants to admit that he's really that, not good and that we in all of these Super Bowls they've fallen behind teams mm-hmm. have had big drives in them and you know if it's not for that Malcolm Butler play they lose that Seattle game. I don't and know about scheming, like, scheming wise. They do seem to draft the right type of guy for every position. That that is a Belichick special. But when you get to like scheming as a defensive coordinator, maybe you're right. Maybe maybe this isn't the guy, the right guy for the job. Minus seven hundred to win the division. That went way. What was it to start? Minus five thousand, ten thousand, or something crazy. It, this is easily the worst defense. I, I actually went through because I, I remembered. Like the 05 defense being bad, the year Brewski, after the third Super Bowl, Brewski had like the stroke, so he didn't play that year. Mm-hmm. And people got old. I was like, oh, I remember that defense being really bad. And I think they gave up like 340 points. Right. It wasn't even, they weren't even that bad. You right. know, they had gave up, they had a, gave up a 40 point game in the Colts. But other than that, it wasn't like a disaster. And then Jake Plummer kind of picked them apart in the playoffs. This defense is much worse than that. Do you guys want to guess one more oddsy type thing? When the Panthers, the game was tied, the Patriots tied it. How much time was left? How much time did the Panthers have like to take? Four like, minutes. Yeah, no, right. was it that much? Yeah. Four minutes. Panthers have the ball. What do you think the line is on the game? 
Pats by like 200, minus 200. Wow. Just the fact that they were favored. It was minus 150. Wow. But the fact that they were favored and the Panthers had the ball driving against this bad defense to win oh, was surprising. I thought it was a quick three and out for the Panthers. Oh, and really? Then, and then Brady comes out and scores a touchdown to win. That's it almost could have been. It was a defensive. There were a couple of weird calls in that last drive. The Pats, Amendola is not going to play 17 games. Mm-hmm. Or 17. He's not going to last 17 weeks the way that they're relying on him now because he can't stay on the field. He takes too many hits. Yeah. That's why I, Jarvis Landry, I feel like he could go steal right now. He's just terrible situation with this bad quarterback and Miami. It doesn't seem like they're happy with him. I would go take that guy. Just put him Interesting. in. Put him on the team. Mate, just That'd be smart. Another interdivision trade that kills the, <laughs> the inferior team. So the Sunday marquee game of the week. I almost hurt your feelings and did Seahawks Rams for this. <laughs> oh, okay. I almost hurt your feelings because the game I'm the most excited about you is Seahawks Rams. Rams but it. wasn't that like seven three last year? Seahawks. I just can't. They, this is it. The Rams. Everybody's gonna blow smoke up all their right. asses all week. Sean McVay. Oh my God, he's so great. Share Goff. Mm-hmm. Todd Gurley. Uh, this is it. All right, go out, prove it because right. everybody's gonna be kissing your asses. Mm-hmm. Sunday marquee. Dallas hosting the Packers. You wouldn't have heard of Green Bay. We're, we're not very good right now. Packers, I have favored by three points in Dallas. Oh wow! <laughs> I had Cowboys by two. It's Cowboys by two and a half. Ooh. Oh, you're really down on the Cowboys. I'm really down I can't on your believe team. you'd make this the marquee matchup. I'm so down Green on your favored on the. I thought your defense was shaky anyway. And how long is Sean Lee at now? It's uh, you know they don't know, but it, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad. I mean there was a mass exodus for the D backs this year from Dallas, and I didn't even love any of them. I like Barry Church, who's a hard hitter. He went to uh, but then Mars Claiborne I had no use for. Carr played, but you know serviceable, but n- never got hurt. But uh, these replacements are not gangbusters by any stretch, and you lose Sean Lee, and it's a different story. Marinelli, talk about defensive coordinators that might be in trouble. Yeah. But you're you right also, there. you're not explosive either. Right. I don't see how you keep pace with them this game. Dez isn't a top eight how, receiver anymore. Don't you think the Packers will be favored by the end of the week? Uh, maybe. It can, might come down. And then, again, they're playing on 10 days rest against Dallas. You know, another another screw job in that regard. I was, gonna, right. I, re- I was trying to talk myself into the Rams money line yesterday, and I couldn't do it. And really? they're doing the Niners money line. Yeah. Which is like plus 230 with oh, the Seahawks. Yeah, sit through that overtime. First down and goal from the eight. They run play. The guy gets tackled seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. They yeah, settle right. for the field goal. And then Carson Palmer, you know, has anybody just vacillate between competent and completely incompetent <laughs> like him during a football game? All of a sudden, he's competent. He's just firing right. down the field. He's finding open guys. It's like, what? You've yeah. been terrible for three hours. Just send somebody every time against him. He gets the happy feet and he's in trouble. What do you think of the overtime, the 10 minutes? I think you're, I think it's, I think it's like two. I would have gone 12. Yeah, 12 is better. 12 seems fair. Because it, 10 it, seemed too fast. Well, now the coin toss means more than anything. Yeah. Like you, you, you get a six and a half minute drive and you kick a field goal. The other team only has three and a half minutes to match your field goal. It seems like coin toss is, means a lot. If you were a 29 year old up and coming play by play guy mm-hmm. who your dream was to be like the next Al Michaels this or Joe Buck You're talking about Tate right now. Yeah. And you were watching that game and. I think that was the game Dick Stockton announced. Mm-hmm. He was announcing one of them. I think it was Sam Rosen. Or was Sam Rosen. Stockton? So you're watching Maybe these games, wrong. and it's like Dick Stockton, Sam yeah. Rosen. Yeah. You just got to be like, oh, my God, I'm never getting a break. Because <laughs> they, they, these guys are 100 years old, still the play-by-play guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, when, when am I going to get a chance? You right. just do the math. Mm-hmm. Joe Buck's not leaving. Al Michaels is leaving. Mm-hmm. Like, how am I going to break into the business? Yeah. Have to kill Can't somebody. Can't do it, Tate. So, uh, can I just say something about Zeke Elliott real yeah. quick? People think he's not a good guy. So he, he Can scores. I still think he's not a good guy no, after no, this? Well, okay. You'll see. Let's, let's listen. He, he dives to the pylon. He scores. Touchdown. He does the hot potato thing. The Cowboys get in a circle. Yeah. The offensive line. He throws the ball around. The fat number 73 spikes it. <laughs> and that's it. They review the play. He's not in. It's not a touchdown. Okay. He scores later on. Same end zone. Takes the ball, runs it up to his mother in the front row and kisses her. He was that convinced that he was going to score twice that he forgot about his mother for the first celebration, but did it the second time. <laughs> That's what a good guy is like, sorry, Ma, I got to do this hot potato thing. If there's time and I score and it happens to be in the same end zone, you'll get the ball. I prop. What a great guy. 
There you go. I'm still not convinced. <laughs> He's confident. I was watching the Broncos Raiders yesterday. I think it was CJ Anderson. They showed his mom in the stands. Uh Apologies if it wasn't him, but I think it was him. It was somebody in Denver. And they're like, there's his mom. She's wearing a Raiders jacket. Oh, no. And she's got the Denver jersey underneath. And and they're (laughs) saying, there's his mom. She's a huge Raiders fan. She's really conflicted about this game. I'm thinking, like, conflicted. Like, that's her son. (laughs) Just for one game. Just wait for one game for your son. Uh, what's worse than having lousy sheets? I can't think of anything. Remember being in college, trying to prolong the same set of sheets for yeah. like nine weeks? Right. How disgusting they were. Um, Tate, how often are you doing laundry? Uh, what do you mean? For my sheets? No, just in general. How often are you doing laundry? Young yeah. people don't like to do laundry. Like two weeks. Once, Every yeah. two weeks, yeah. Well, <laughs> guess what? Great sleep sh- starts with the right sheets, and they're more affordable than you think with Bow and Branch. They make the most comfortable sheets you'll ever sleep on. Fall asleep faster, sleep deeper, wake up ready to kick some ass. Each sheet crafted from 100% organic cotton. Feel incredible, look amazing. And since Bowen Branch sells exclusively online, no expensive retail market markup, half the price, twice the quality. Anyone who sleeps on Bowen Branch sheets loves them. That's why they have thousands of five-star reviews. Go to bowenbranch.com today. You'll get $50 off your first set of sheets plus free shipping when you use the promo code BS. It's B-O-L-L. And a n d branch dot com. Try them for thirty nights. If you're not impressed, try and return them for a full refund. Again, fifty dollars plus free shipping. Fifty dollars off plus free shipping. Right now at b o l l and branch dot com. Okay, man, we got to race through these. A lot the, of a lot of games. Covered. Let's race through the poop factor. Okay, I had two this week. There's, I had uh, there's at least two. Yeah, the New York Jets are at the Cleveland Browns, mm-hmm. and the Indianapolis Colts are hosting. The San Francisco 49ers. Dare I say we've never had a better poop fecta combo than those two. Yeah, it's, it's I don't to want to watch one second of either of those games. I had the Jets minus three at Cleveland, and I had the Colts minus two and a half at home against the 49ers. What you have said? I had Jets minus two and a half. Somehow Cleveland is favored by one and a half. Oh so my I God. get that. What did you have for Indy? Cleveland's been favored twice this year. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> right. Impossible. You're right. Once They're on the road awful. The, why, are we, why are we doing they, this to ourselves? I feel like that. Why don't we just bet against the Browns every week? It's like we're going to the buffet and passing the crab legs just to get to the mashed potatoes. Like what? Yeah, just, why we, are we making it hard on ourselves? If we had just gone into the season and well, you know why? Because they threw us off in week one when they covered against, I guess the, Steelers. So against the Steelers. After they did that, we should have just been like, all right, they're one and zero against the That's spread. It. Let's go against the they're next nine weeks. You're right. So the the I Indy had the Colts one, minus two and a half over the Niners. It's off. It's off the board. I had three, but they don't know about luck or Brissett or anything. So I that, continue that to kind of like this Niners team. I think they're the frisky hang around but lose at the end team. Yeah, that is fun to bet on. I feel bad a little for Kyle Shanahan. They they should be a little better than this. They lost three games by eight points. Well, yesterday they were dropping passes. That that they mm-hmm. should have won that game yesterday. All right, barely watchables. I have six barely watchables, so we'll just go through these. Let's do uh, two road favorites first. All right. Uh, Cincinnati hosting the Bills of Buffalo. I had the Bills minus two. I might be wrong. I had the same thing, Bill Simmons, and Cincinnati's favored by three. Off by five points that game. So the Bills are just going to be the nobody believes in us game right. this one year. I believe in the Bills. Three Bengals. Yeah, they hang in these games. Uh, they're as good. They're as good as the Bengals, at least, I think. The other one is Tennessee is at Miami. There's no way Miami can be favored in this game. Although, how long is Mariota out? Do we know? I think uh, th- I think this is based on him playing because there was a line on this. So Marietta went to get his uh, hamstring checked out mm-hmm. yesterday and uh, brought a cheese plate for the doctor and gave all the nurses and stuff candy and just they, they were just in love with him. Not about? making that up. It's just he's Marietta's a great guy oh, story. Like you him, know, yeah. make him great if he stayed on the field for four straight games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stretch that hammy. Yeah, it's a great guy though. What would you have for this? Titans. Minus three in Miami is what I had. That's what I had, and that's what the line is. So could this be Matt Castle versus Jay Cutler? Is that Tate? Is that what this is? Yeah, could be. It's gonna be the or it could be Matt Moore versus Matt Castle. One of the Matts. (laughs) I listen. I'm already on the record with this from last year. I continue to think Matt Moore is half decent. In that playoff game. He got concussed, and that was the only reason he shit the bed in that playoff game. But they were playing well up until that point. I think Castle, I think this is still a three point. Uh, t- Titans are favored by three, even if Castle. But what do you need? Three or 10 points to beat the Dolphins? That's fine. Castle, Mario, it th- doesn't matter. They my guess would be Matt Moore is the quarterback for this game. All right, four 
home favorites for the barely watchables. First one, probably not a line for this. Raiders hosting the Ravens. Yeah, no line. I didn't even guess. Both teams two and two, obviously. Back spasms, they're positive about Carr, but they're not po- They're not sure. So the Ravens passed the injury point of no return, it seems like. Because I like them as like, a, how the hell is this team 10 and 6? Their defense carrying them. But they now they can't block. They yeah. lost Yonda. And, uh, Talk about a team that threw us off with the first two games. Like they, yeah, they, but they had too many injuries. Really I, don't, I don't hold that against them. Yeah, Giants are home for the Chargers. This <laughs> has all the makings of the Eli ramming it up your butt bet. It has really? all the makings. Yeah. He's putting on the he's putting on the latex glove, getting oh, no. the Vaseline ready for you. Yeah. And there's a whole probably an Eli so Philip Rivers uh, little... little uh, Rivalry, right? With the draft picks and everything. For the and 04, yeah, they got flipped. Yeah. I mean, the Chargers have to be happy to finally be on the road. Yeah, they had some fans at their game. <laughs> it's the same experience anyway. Uh, the Giants have covered the last two weeks. Mm-hmm. They covered the Eagles game. They're down 14. Come back. They end up, they lose, but they cover. I feel like I talked you out of a couple bets. You liked the Niners. You saved me yesterday. The Thursday night, you liked, You said, let me know if Tampa gets down to two and a half. No, I, I like that. As like it did. I thought I, I liked the Rams. But they were minus three. They, it was the same kind of the thing. Rams they won, by, won but didn't cover. Yeah, yeah we've had yeah, a couple of those yeah, this year. Weird. So the Giants let, yesterday somehow covered Tampa. Nick Folk, just Crazy. incredible. Um, I mean, obviously, he, he's just had a bad day. But it did it did make you think, like, if you're ever going to fix an NFL game, right? you'd go after the long snapper, the kicker, mm-hmm. or, like, the umpire who can call – which which umpire would you go after? The line judge? What for an offsides? What were you saying? I guess you'd you'd probably want some pass interference, right? Yeah. Because right. all of those, you'd want somebody on the sidelines right. who was mm-hmm. just throwing pass interference penalties. Those would be the three. Nick Folk yesterday single handedly cost them the cover. Sure. Because they they were better than the Giants. I mean that game should have been over. But also Evans going down at the three inch line yeah, and then was, they don't score they yeah. don't get a touchdown like why why isn't winston why don't they have a qb sneak there why even screw around Car, anyway. uh the eagles are home for the cardinals wait you didn't say giant oh, i had giants line. by four and a half i put that in the vegas zone. oh i i got it i said three and a half and it is three and a half and i think this is i think mcadoo is mcadun i'm going against you here i think the chargers win tate like that one mcadoo is minus 200 He's mcadun <laughs> Minus 200, first coach fired. Pagano plus 220. Hugh Jackson. Well, this 10 is to an one. amazing game because you have two teams that just continually figure out how to screw up in the yeah. fourth quarter and pull uh, defeat out of the hands of victory. And now maybe they tie. Can we bet the draw like but a boxer? This is, yeah, Can we bet think, a tie? Yeah, we should bet a draw. But you like this game so much better than some of the other two and two teams playing each other, right? Like you would watch this more than. The Chargers made me feel bad about myself when I watched them. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they're just Phil Rivers yesterday. There was one point they were going to go for it on fourth and two or something for the 40. Mm. And then something got screwed up and he the comes play off. didn't come in. And he threw a tantrum like that oh, my yeah. son throws when the, like, the HDMI cable doesn't work on his <laughs> Xbox. It was like watching a nine year old. The guy's got Phil Rivers has eight kids. He right. acts like a kid. Eagles hosting Arizona. Mm hmm. Carson Wentz, a lot of pressure on him now. He was one of our captains of the week. Mm-hmm. I have the Eagles by seven. They're dying for us to, to put them in a tease. They're they're begging us. You were closer. Uh, I had five. It's six and a half. And they don't need to beg you. You love the Eagles. You hate no, the Cardinals. No, I don't love the Eagles. You I hate I will the not, Cardinals. I will not put Doug Peterson in oh, a tease. Oh, I think. I, think. I will not. See, I Lombardi not is it. brainwashed. Today. I don't maybe, trust maybe Doug Peterson. Maybe the Eagles are good. I think that team's poor the coach. They should have won that game yesterday by 15 points. Right. I think the Cardinals are bad. Yeah. Like they're, they're just a bad football team. I can't even believe they won that game yesterday. They're, I mean, the best player's gone. It's tough. Yeah. You lose your, be- your best do-it-all running back guy who your whole mm-hmm. team's built around. It's going to be a problem. And your quarterback's too old. Last game for the barely watchables. Pittsburgh at home against uh, Jacksonville, who bortled Cousin Sal mm. this week. They, you got bortled by them. Well, but also, like, uh, let's hand it to the Jags defense. You, you have one play you have to guard against all game. It's the off-tackle right, and it's Bell Powell. And uh, just make sure he's tackled when he's tackled. Yeah. He got up and run 75 yards. That was a killer. Uh, so I had Steelers have? seven and a half. You get this. I had seven. It's up to nine. I'm not teasing them. I don't trust the Steelers. Yeah, nine. You have to, do a little, you have to be a little creative with that. Two watchables. Mm-hmm. 
These are pretty watchable. <laughs> pretty watchable, these combo. Uh, Detroit is hosting the rejuvenated Panthers of Carolina. Mm-hmm. I have Detroit by four. It might be low. Let me find this. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, it's high. I said three. It's exactly three. Vegas People don't believe the in the Lions. Well, I think they like the Panthers, too. Tate, how do you feel about that? Uh, for whatever reason, the Panthers have been better on the road this year. So, But I don't know. I, they're not a dome team. I like Stafford. I feel like the Lions will get a win. I think the Panthers, thanks to the New England Patriots' putrid defense, threw everyone off the scent a little bit this week. I don't think they're nearly as potent as they looked in that game. I'm going I'm going opposite here. Take three to one to win the division. Panthers. You've liked Carolina from the get-go. I do. I thought they were a 10-win team. Well, but... we said as long as Keekley's playing, we right. like them. The moment he goes out, it's like a Sean Lee situation. Do you like just Atlanta, abort, abort, abort. Do you like Atlanta that much more than Carolina? Carolina's no. three to one three to one. I think Atlanta's I it, it's starting to look like this season from hell for them. Right. Like Matty I says what, seven picks now? Mm -hmm. And like four of them were deflected or tipped, and it just right, seems yeah. like one of those seasons Not looming. Year, maybe. Vic Beasley got hurt already. Uh the other watchable game. The LA Rams. I'm gonna say it, Sal. This is the biggest football game in Los Angeles for professional. I'm gonna say since like 1991. You're gonna beat me on this, I think. I have the Seahawks favored by two and a half. Oh, okay. You're gonna love this. I had Seahawks by three. It's Rams by two and a Whoa, half. Whoa, Rams! Oh, what a day! <laughs> the millennial Sean McVay. You should go to this game. You need to go to this game. I'm 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 genuinely into the Rams. <laughs> go to the game. If my son wore a Rams jersey, I would be upset. Wow. I like the Rams. I like Gurley. I All like right. Sammy Watkins. He's on my fantasy team. I enjoy Jared Goff. I like the millennial Sean McVay. It's I like not Aaron making Donald. sense to me, though. It's a fun team. I thought their defense would be a lot better. I thought the I whole think it's going to be better. You do? Yeah. I, I think as, as Phillips lays in, right. I got to say, I love the Rams. I know. You don't have to I say love, No, I mean, in this game. <laughs> oh, I see. I love the Rams. All right. I think if it's less than three, take the Rams. I think they're better. Mm. The Seahawks will get to where they need to go. It's just not going to happen yet. Could they win the division if they're two <sighs> back? I this think the Rams can win the division. The Rams will win it. Okay, if they win this Listen, game. Listen, this happens every single year. There's a team that we have, we just can't believe it, that they're going to finish 11 and 5 or well, 12 and 4. This always was, happens. Who was it? The Lions last year? Who was, yeah, it was the but they Lions. Were and then, they were only uh, ended no, up being was, a wild card uh, team. No, I think the division's like. Oh, it was the Raiders last year. Yeah, Raiders. Remember? People well, were they like, were no, the Raiders card. can't. No, but people are like, ah, oh, the Raiders aren't going to make the playoffs. They're the Raiders. And then all of a sudden, right. they're like 8-1. Right. and one. I mean, okay. even the Falcons last year, after the Panthers got that so. Super Bowl. Panthers were 15-1 and one two years ago. Yeah. You yeah. look at the Rams, and they, they've had a million first-round picks. Now, mm -hmm. they screwed up a lot of them, but right. um, at some point, you know, you're going to start adding good players. Oh. Sunday night, right? We got to talk about Gillette. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> first of all, I'd like to apologize to Patriots Nation, because... Ever since I started doing these uh, Gillette ads, <laughs> we've completely lost our home field advantage. So I, I blame myself. I don't think them? it's Gillette's fault. <laughs> but uh, the tip of a Gillette razor blade measured on an atomic scale. Their blade edge, edges are thinner than a single brain cell. It's the work of many brain cells. Hundreds of members of Gillette's research and development team that have spent over 4,700 years combined working to make your shave closer, more comfortable. I wish they had spent more time on our defense. <laughs> they had nothing to do in with the it. Path, the Pat's front seven. They couldn't help. Uh, a thousand craftsmen and women in Boston busy making our blades and another team putting our blades through more than 60 extremely strict and precise quality checks. Fail one of those tests and it doesn't leave the factory. I wish the Patriots defense, I wish they didn't leave the factory. I wish they had kept working on it. The hardworking people at Gillette never stop working to make your blades better. That includes the price tag. You can get Gillette blades at their lowest prices in years. See for yourself at GilletteOnDemand.com. Sal, is Gillette the best a man can get? It's absolutely the best a man can That's get. That's how I feel, too. Pricing applies to select products and has the sole discretion of the retailer. All right. I, th I don't even know if a woman could do better than Gillette. No. No. My wife will... She'll shave her legs with Gillette. Yeah. She doesn't care. Good. See, he means She'll it. grab my leg. She'll grab. <laughs> this is actually what. Does your wife do this? Grab your razor by accident? Yeah. And then, but then they kind of mess it up. Of they course leave they these, do. Yeah. yeah oh, it's, it's terrible. It's the worst. Sunday night is a great game. I'm genuinely looking forward to this game. Huh. Houston hosting the Kansas City Chiefs. I have the Chiefs favored by two and a half. I'm proud of myself for getting this right. It's one and a half hmm. right now. So if they blow out Washington tonight, I think that line moves to three. Yeah. 
You know, it's funny. We always talk about the short week and everything. I think like RJ Bell, someone listed the stat. Like, uh, I don't know, Monday, you play Monday, then you have to go on the road. Like, I think like the 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 team playing on the short week is 572 and 571 against the spread. It makes, <laughs> yeah, it makes no, it makes no the, it's factored into the line. Can I make one prediction for this game? I'm going to parlay it with the Texans. Chris Collinsworth, Deshaun Watson will make some play <laughs> in like the uh, second quarter. Be like, oh, I... <laughs> Al, I, this guy is not a rookie. You can't <laughs> tell me this guy is a rookie. He like is not that. a rookie. <laughs> He'll do that whole thing. I'm I excited for it. I like Deshaun Watson. Yeah. Uh, Monday night, the Bears of Chicago mm-hmm. are hosting the Minnesota Vikings. Now, I, I, I'm I changing my guess for this because th- since I made these picks, Dalvin Cook is now out for the year. So what you think? You, you, I had Vikings by week. two and a half. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a half point. I'm gonna say Vikings by two <laughs> you, in Chicago. You just screwed yourself. I did. Yeah, Vikings. I said by three and a half. It's three. Really? We would have split that one. Let me see if it matters. Didn't matter. Vikings I, by. I, I, I beat you up this you week. You beat me this yeah, week, like nine six or something. Jesus. Yeah. Who is the Vikings starting running back this week? What is it, McKinnon? What What are they doing? Like it's both. It's uh, McKinnon and uh. Why can't I think of this? Tate, who's the Vikings? Well, it's Murray, right? Latavius? Oh, yeah, Latavius. Yeah, they wouldn't put that in the game. But McKinnon will probably play him. Yeah. We still don't have a sponsor for uh, Parent Corner. <laughs> <laughs> but it has become America's favorite segment. If anyone who wants to sponsor Parent Corner, just make us an offer. We'll do week-to-week sponsors. Right. Uh, America loves it. They do. Do you want to go first? I guess. It seems petty right now. It seems like champagne problems. But, you know, my four-year-old has this iPad. <laughs> It's been handed down. I know it's already gross, but um, hand me down iPad. Yeah, so he gets mad at this one baseball game. He doesn't realize he's not a smart kid. He doesn't realize when he's at bat or when he's pitching in this baseball app. So when he's when he's pitching and the guy the, his opponent swings and misses, he freaks out because he thinks he's free, he's swinging and missing. So he throws the iPad as a tantrum. A tantrum. It's everything I deserve. It's. It's Sounds like Phil, Phil Rivers. Rivers yeah. It really is. So now this thing is splintered, and these things, the glass, it breaks, right. you know? So we've replaced this twice, and it's not cheap to replace the glass on an iPad. It's like 140 bucks if they do it right. A lot of times they don't, and you have to take it back. Now It's, it's kind of a racket, by the oh way. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's like some, it's always like a shady guy at a yeah. mall who's like, yeah, $130 cash. Yeah, it's a new termite scent thing yeah, of, really, uh, for kids. It really is. That's it. Like, yeah, you have termites. That's it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so this is splintered up. And now it's got what I, I need advice in this week's parent corner. How bad does it have to get before I now replace it? Because again, now it's broken and splintered. They, we have like band aids on the <laughs> iPad. It's crazy. And like one day, like we thought he had ketchup on his fingers. <laughs> he thought he had ketchup on his. So it's like oh, I was like, Melissa, wipe his hands after he's like, no, that's blood. He's bleeding because he's swiping on the on the on a splintered up iPad. So. I need help as to when we need to replace this. I or just my, throw the my thing advice out. would have been you don't get to use the iPad if you're going to throw it. Yeah, we tried that a little. Didn't work. It's such a it's such a great <laughs> babysitter. You can't can't totally do away with it. Um, that's pretty good. All right, send us advice at the mailbag at yeah. the or band aids. Yeah, <laughs> more band aids. Uh, <laughs> Less advice. Parent corner for me this week. Saturday night we go out to dinner, come back, we're going to rent a movie as a fam, watch a movie. Mm-hmm. My my kids love horror movies, mm-hmm. so Leatherface was available on Directv. Nice, which is the prequel of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but the modern version <laughs> of the prequel. So I'm like, oh, Leatherface, and Ben, my son, is all fired up for Leatherface because he loves horror movies, and it's rated R. It's a solid R. Yeah, solid R. So I'm about to go on the internet to see, like, to make sure there's not sex in it or, like, it's not bad. Yeah. Ben, my liar son, who's, as we covered last week, he's just a flat-out liar. <laughs> just will lie right to your face. Ben, ben goes, no, I went on the website. It's fine. There's no sex in it. Awesome. I checked. And normally I could tell when he's lying, but he really didn't seem like <laughs> he was lying. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm excited for this movie. I'm glad. We can all watch it as a family. <laughs> it starts out with uh, somebody gets hammered in the side. Their whole head explodes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad side there. But it goes like about a half hour in. And there's a sex scene where the, all the inmates are escaping this asylum. And this girl gets excited with her crazy lover that she's with and goes down on him. Oh, no. 
in the thing. So we, we're like covering their eyes. We're, and my wife's like, this is crazy. We got to stop watching stuff. No, no, it's fine. We, it was one second. It's not sex. 10 minutes later, there's like these two people just start going at it. All of a sudden, it's like, I mean, it's like like kind of graphic writing. We're like, cover your eyes. Cover your-. We're doing that whole thing. I can't find the pause button because we had let the thing. And it's like, there's like doggy style. Oh, and no. Ben's pretending he's covering eyes, but he's not. <laughs> and we were just so mad. My wife's mad at me. I'm mad at Ben. Right. My daughter's like, why do you trust him? He lies. That's what he does. Like, he's just a liar. My son's a liar. I love it. Were you watching with the teacher from two weeks ago? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, Nick, would have made it better. Yeah, Nick. yeah. I was yeah. waiting for Nick to be in the sex scene. The, Nick, the PE teacher <laughs> would have been the only way it would have been better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, the moral of the story is don't watch Leatherface with your face. kids yeah. anyway, but definitely don't watch it if you think there's not going to be sex in it because there is. Right. And, uh, and, and my and son's a liar. A liar. Yeah. He's, a, he's a flat out liar. He lies. I love it. So, well, if, I, I have a broken uh, iPad for him if you want. <laughs> Maybe that'll even things out. Um, any any of these games jumping out of you for this week, potentially? Um, no. <laughs> Not a lot of them. I, I don't it, know. I do think Green Bay is going to score on Dallas, though. I do. It feels like an underdog week. Yeah, it's well, my underdogs early takeaway. Are, uh, I did have this 35, 25, and one underdog. So that's like nine and six every week. Might as well just. We in know your, that. In your pool, just circle all the underdogs. We've said for 10 years, I think, on this podcast if you just take the home favorites every week mm-hmm. and just, just automatic, you'll be about 500 every year. Home favorites. I'm, I'm sorry, the uh, home underdogs. Underdogs, yeah. Yeah. Right. Home underdogs, it's always, it ends up being like they go 30 and 21 or. Yeah, thirty-two and twenty-three. You're always going to be like eight, nine games over five hundred. Mm-hmm. What do you have to plug this weekend? Oh, we have against all odds. Like I said, the degenerate trifecta is pretty hot. Harry plus one eighty. Brother Brian had a seventeen parlay that cashed. Uh, listen for that Wednesday night, and uh, OJ Simpson will be our guest. Oh no, no, we're not going to do that now. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel Live, Anthony Anderson, Alex Rodriguez, one of your favorites, oh. and music from Savage tonight. Uh, and that's that. I have a couple of things to plug. Go ahead. House and I are going to do NBA over-unders, which we do every year on this podcast. And then uh, I'm doing the MLB show that we have, the Ringer MLB show, on mm-hmm. Wednesday morning after the Yankee Wild Card game. Jack oh. and I are going to have a special edition. Oh, good. Uh, either a post-mortem for the Yankee season. What's the line the on Yankees that? minus 240. That's yeah, hefty for one game. And by the way, Irvin all Santana. their fans are already trying to figure oh, out yeah. the Indians matchup. Yeah. It has all the makings. It always works. And by the way, Irvin Santana is a good pitcher. Sure. Like I would not I would not be like, oh, we're going to roll no. over Irvin Santana. That guy will keep them in the game. Mm-hmm. And uh, and there's good guys in the Twins. And I would be a little more nervous if I was a Yankee fan. So either way, Jack O and I are going to be on the Ringer MLB show. Mm-hmm. And then Mallory Rubin and I are going are gonna to talk about... Uh, playoff odds for that nice don't forget about my column on the ringer on fridays something nfl related thanks to bluehost whether you're a blogger or a small business owner bluehost is everything you need to build host and manage the website you've always wanted simple enough for beginners powerful enough for even the most advanced users design your website your way no wonder it's been the top recommended wordpress host on wordpress.org since 2005 and now our listeners save 50 percent when you sign up at bluehost.com slash bill simmons Thanks to Gillette. Did you know a Gillette razor blade edge thinner than a single brain cell? Did you know Gillette Stadium hosts a team that doesn't have a defense anymore? That's the product of many <laughs> brain cells at work from the thousands of men and women at Gillette. They're always working harder to make your shave better. Now you can get Gillette blades for less at GilletteOnDemand.com. Thanks to Captain Morgan, our friends. Don't forget to be the captain out there. Thanks to SeatGeek. Don't forget BSNFL, 20% off first time uh, football purchases. So can you tape tomorrow? We'll fi- we'll figure, we'll figure out. it out. Yeah. But so we're gonna have we're yeah, gonna do go the Eastern Con. Which conference do you want on on against all odds? Uh, no. Why don't you guys do over unders and we'll do everything else, rookie of the year and props. And, uh, props. Yeah. That's what you that? want to do? Yeah. Let's uh, don't make it like I'm screwing you now. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to do rookie? There's plenty. You do of, we could do we could do divisions. We can do conferences. We can do rookie of the year. You guys do over under wins. That's a good idea. Okay. So Thanks. we'll go faster with the over unders. Maybe yeah. jam that into one podcast. Yeah. And then do all the props. Yeah. The rookie of the year is like almost its own podcast. But you're not even allowed to touch that, right? Or you can't bet I'm it. You to can, you can it. I just it. can't. Yeah. 
Tate, the rookie. This is the most exciting rookie of the year betting class I've ever seen. Yeah, but for football, it's unbelievable. And Lonzo's almost. I think he's favored. Yeah, I think he's plus two fifty. And then, I mean, but like he's like a, yeah, a pretty think, heavy favorite for rookie of the year, and I, I, I have some thoughts on that. All right, all right. So against all odds. Can, not I, going can on I just say, I, I just, this is what a loser I am. I got a text from an unidentified number. It says, we have information which will affect the outcome of Washington and Kansas City. Don't touch this game until you hear what we have to say. Reply yes. We'll text it free. <laughs> that came I'm on to your these phone? dummy list for 30 years. <laughs> oh, my God. And now I'm getting texts from people who are threatening me for, <laughs> for considering the game. Our cousin was on Curb Your Enthusiasm last night. Great, right? Well, yeah, it was good the season. Yeah. The funny thing is he is a foister. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's a legendary foister. I, I was dying because I was like, did <laughs> did someone in Jimmy's life su uh, suggest this plot line? Yeah. Or did Larry David <laughs> independently just, just supernaturally know Jimmy was the perfect guy for this? I think HBO said that he foisted you on them. <laughs> and and that, that's how this whole thing started. <laughs> I'd say, dude, there's no way to prove that wrong. Uh, yeah, no, it's, you know, if, if Jimmy's recommended somebody, I was like, oh, yeah. love it. <laughs> the foister himself. Uh, no, it was a great episode and uh, great to have that show back. Good time. That show's been gone for so long that they were showing the last season. Yeah. And uh, I had totally forgotten, like, Michael J. Fox, like that whole season oh, finale. Yeah, yeah. It was right, like, right, I right. felt like it was 70 years ago. Right. Great to have that back. Cuz, good job by you. Good job by you. We'll be back. Uh, Later in the week of the BS Pod.